about to do some DevOps. So all we need, aside from a beer, for this particular resource, we're going to need Docker desktop. And in order to deploy Spinnaker, because uh, today we're deploying a disposable Spinnaker instance, so we can just play with Spinnaker. Uh, you just need to have Docker desktop with Kubernetes enabled. Kubernetes should be running, engine should be running since this is entirely disposable. I don't think it really matters what resources you have there, but play around with it if you have any problems. So we have Kubernetes enabled. Now make sure you've got the right context. Open up a terminal, kube control, config current context. This should be Docker desktop. If it's not, if it's anything else, maybe it's one of your production environments. Perhaps you've had more beers than I have. Have fun with that, but in for this scope, we're gonna work in the Docker desktop context as the Cube control current context. First thing we're gonna do is run an instance of MySQL inside the Docker's Kubernetes. So now we open this up, you will see MySQL is running in there. We're actually gonna make note of that IP address. So cube control get pods O wide. It's gonna show the IP address is 10.1.0.174 for MySQL. We'll make note of that. We could use the internal Kubernetes DNS, but we'll just use the IP address for this instance. We're gonna use that for SQL storage on front 50. If you don't know what any of that means, doesn't matter, just follow along. Now we're gonna run Halyard in a Docker container. So we're gonna name this Halyard. We're gonna remove it when we're done. We're gonna volume map our local cube folder to the Spinnaker's home directory cube folder, which will allow us access to the contexts, the Kubernetes configuration file. We're opening up an interactive terminal, and this painfully long string is an unnecessarily long image name for Halyard. Now that Halyard's running, we'll go ahead and split another console, open up another terminal, and open up, or we're going to execute an interactive terminal into the container named Halyard using the command bash. So we're opening up a bash prompt. We're gonna first check what versions we have available of Spinnaker to install. And we're gonna ignore any of these warnings since this is a stable version of, uh, of Halyard. I'm just going to ignore all the warnings moving forward. But so since 1.30.1 is the latest version that we have available to us in this particular instance of Halyard, let's go ahead and configure to use that version. Our purpose here is to um, Hal convert, nope, we just did the config. Hal config provider Kubernetes enabled because we're going to install Spinnaker to our local Docker desktops instance of Kubernetes that's running. Hal config provider Kubernetes. And we're going to add a Spinnaker Kubernetes account to the Docker desktop context. And now that's there, we'll configure our deployment and make it a type distributed using the account name that we just added, Spinnaker Kubernetes, or K8S, if you will. Blingo, blango, smooth sailing so far. We're going to edit the configuration again and add the storage of type Redis, although we're going to manually configure Front50 to use SQL because for some reason or another, it's just giving me trouble using Redis as the storage point for front 50. Hal config features, edit artifacts. True for some reason or another. <laughs> and now all of the configuration for this, usually you map in a, a volume for your configuration, but since we're doing this to be disposable, uh, we are not mapping in a or persisting our configuration. So in your local, users directory dot hal folder there's going to be a default folder and the staging folder where halyard does its work we're actually going to make a directory called profiles in there and then we're going to create a file called front 50 yaml or front 50 local excuse me i'm not very good at talking while uh typing in this file, we're going to configure Front50 to use SQL. And let's quick cube control get pods. Oh, why we wanted that 174 was the IP address of our the MySQL instance that we had. So let's do, what is it? 
We need to replace 111 with 164. One seven four. Oh, I'm all over the place. But you can see what's happening here. We're telling it how to connect to the MySQL instance. We're giving it the username and password that we set up uh, for both the migration and the default connection, and we're disabling Spinnaker. I mean, disabling Redis for this use case. And how deploy apply. Now go grab a beer. This is probably going to take a few minutes. A few minutes later. And there you have it, boys and girls. Uh, Spinnaker's been deployed, so let's go ahead and connect to it. First, I'm going to grab another terminal window. Not necessary, but this is Bash Shell still inside the Docker container that we ran for Halyard. This is the, the command that we ran, and this one is in my local terminal. So if I said, who am I, it's, it's me, but in this one, it's Spinnaker. So uh, you could run cube control commands in the, the Halyard container, but I'm going to, we're going to port map, port forward our local machine into Kubernetes now. So you'll want to open up a terminal for your own user on your desktop. So cube control, get, get pods in the namespace of Spinnaker. You'll see, it's only been about a minute since I actually ran that deployment command. So they're still not quite ready despite having stated they're ready. They will come up. So in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get the port forwarding set up. And then by the time we do that, this should be ready to go. So we need to port forward to access the DEX UI or the UI, which is DEX uh, from our computer. And then we'll be able to hit, the brow hit a browser on there. So cube control in the namespace of Spinnaker. We're going to port forward the DEC, which runs on port 9000. I'm going to put an ampersand there just to make this go in the background. And then gate. So cube control in the namespace of Spinnaker. Port forward gate. The gate uh, container name. And this is 8084. Now if we open up some browser, we should be able to hit localhost 9000 and you have Spinnaker. Boom. You won't have your recently viewed one. This is from my previous instance of setting it up, but now you can create your applications and such. Cube uh, control, get namespace, Spinnaker, get pods, and you'll see everything's running. We haven't even finished two beers. It's that easy. If it fails you, just try it again. Just burn everything. As a matter of fact, let's burn all this. So I'm going to cancel this, Exit out of all these, close down Docker, quit everything, and then you'll see over here, pop back into our Docker for desktop. You'll see all of our Spinnaker items are running. Let's just burn it. It's like a production environment. Just hit delete. 